Every so often, science opens a door it didn't mean to, and what steps through feels less like knowledge and more like the universe having a quiet laugh at our expense. We call them discoveries, but they're really reminders that we're guests in a cosmos whose rules we barely understand. From atoms that dance forever without energy, to life that ignores death, these are the strangest scientific discoveries ever made. Each one a riddle, each one a warning that reality is far stranger than reason. In physics, there's a rule so basic we almost take it for granted. When something runs out of energy, it stops. Pendulums slow, planets cool, even atoms settle into silence. But in 2017, scientists created something that refuses to stop, a new phase of matter called a time crystal. Unlike normal crystals, which repeat their structure in space, a time crystal repeats itself in time. Its atoms flip back and forth in a rhythm that never fades, even at absolute zero, the coldest possible temperature, where motion should be impossible. It's a system that breaks one of nature's most sacred symmetries, the idea that time should flow the same no matter when you look. In a universe where everything winds down, a time crystal just keeps dancing. Some scientists call it a new kind of order. Others say it hints at hidden layers of physics, a deeper clockwork beneath reality's surface. Whatever it is, it shouldn't exist. But there it is, humming quietly in the dark, a reminder that even time has exceptions. Every law of the universe rests on a single framework, the standard model of particle physics. It's our cosmic rulebook, the blueprint of reality itself. For decades, it's predicted everything from the behavior of atoms to the birth of stars, almost perfectly. Almost. At Fermilab, scientists study a ghostly particle called the muon, a heavier cousin of the electron, existing for just a few millionths of a second before it vanishes. Like the electron, the muon spins, and when a spinning, charged particle moves through a magnetic field, it behaves like a tiny bar magnet with a rhythm, a magnetic heartbeat, called its magnetic moment. Physicists can predict that rhythm to an absurd degree of precision, but the muon wouldn't cooperate. Its magnetic moment was ever so slightly off, wobbling in a way no equation could explain. That tiny deviation, just a few parts per billion, might be the first whisper of new physics. If it's real, it means something unseen is tugging on the muon, a force outside our known four. Perhaps a fifth fundamental force. Perhaps a new family of particles that interact with dark matter. Or perhaps the standard model itself, our most sacred theory, is simply incomplete. The result has been checked, rechecked, and the wobble still refuses to go away. It's as if reality has a secret frequency. Deep inside neutron stars, matter is crushed under pressures so immense that atoms collapse into a sea of subatomic particles, a dense soup of neutrons, quarks, and chaos. But some physicists think something even stranger could form there, a state called strange matter. It's made not just of up and down quarks, but of a third kind, strange quarks, fused together into what's known as strangelets. On paper, these fragments should be impossibly stable, so stable that if one ever touched normal matter, it could convert it, atom by atom, into more strange matter. That's why theorists half-jokingly call it the most dangerous substance in the universe. Fortunately, we've never found any. But deep in the hearts of neutron stars, or the wreckage of collisions between them, strange matter could already exist, waiting in forms we can't yet detect. It might explain why some neutron stars suddenly vanish, why their magnetic fields twist beyond reason, or why certain cosmic rays seem to defy their expected energy limits. 
If strange matter is real, it means there's a version of the universe where ordinary atoms, the stuff of you and me, simply aren't the default. And if one stray fragment ever reached us, it wouldn't explode or burn or scream. It would just convert, quietly, efficiently, until everything familiar was gone. In the Mediterranean Sea drifts a creature no bigger than your fingernail, Turritopsis dornii. It looks fragile, translucent, forgettable, but it has mastered something that every living thing has chased since time began, biological immortality. When most animals grow old, their cells decay. But when the immortal jellyfish is damaged, starving, or dying, it performs a miracle of biology. It reverses its life cycle. It turns its cells back into their earliest form, reverting to a tiny polyp, its baby stage, and begins again. No new generation, no offspring, just the same individual reborn over and over. Scientists have watched it perform this trick countless times in the lab, a loop of life with no natural end. It's not truly indestructible. Predators and disease still claim it, but in theory, it could live forever. For now, it's a curiosity of marine biology, but the implications are staggering. If a jellyfish can rewrite the rules of aging, then mortality itself might not be a law of nature, just a design flaw waiting to be fixed. In our everyday world, force and motion play by simple rules. You push something, it moves away. It's such a basic truth that the entire universe seems built on it. Until one day, it wasn't. In 2017, Physicists at Washington State University created a fluid with negative mass. When they pushed it, it didn't move away. It moved toward the force. Imagine trying to shove a ball and it rolls back into your hand. Not magic, mathematics. The fluid's atoms were cooled to near absolute zero, forming what's called a Bose-Einstein condensate, a strange state of matter where quantum rules dominate. Under those conditions, its behavior flipped. Pressure became pull, momentum became resistance. Push it forward and it accelerates backward. It doesn't mean the stuff weighs less than zero. Its inertial mass is negative, not its gravitational mass. In other words, it doesn't fall up. It just reacts to force in reverse. For a moment, physics blinked. Even Einstein's equations allow for negative mass, but seeing it happen in the real world was like watching reality shrug off one of its oldest habits. Some physicists think this might help us model the behavior of dark energy, the mysterious force driving the universe's expansion. Others call it a mathematical curiosity, but it's hard not to wonder. If matter can disobey the simplest rule we know, what else might the universe be willing to break? In most solids, atoms lock into a pattern, a tidy crystal lattice, frozen in place. Even at absolute zero, when all motion stops, their internal spins, tiny magnetic orientations, settle down too. But in a quantum spin liquid, they never do. Even when the material is perfectly solid, its atomic spins keep changing, entangling, shifting like an endless conversation that never ends. It's not a liquid of atoms, but a liquid of magnetism a restless sea of quantum information. For decades, this state of matter was only theoretical, an equation that refused to show itself in the lab. Then scientists finally caught one, a spin liquid hiding inside a crystal of cerium zirconium oxide. At the quantum level, the rules of reality blurred. Particles stopped behaving like individuals and began acting as one a unified, shapeless whole. Some physicists think these spin liquids could hold the key to building stable quantum computers, machines that use entanglement to think in infinite directions at once. Others see them as something deeper, a glimpse into how the universe organizes itself when it stops pretending to be solid. 
In 2018, a Chinese scientist named He Jiankui announced something the world wasn't ready to hear. He had used CRISPR, a gene editing tool sharper than any scalpel, to alter the DNA of human embryos. Twin girls, born with genes modified to resist HIV. It was meant to be a medical breakthrough. Instead, it felt like the beginning of something uncontrollable. CRISPR works like molecular scissors, snipping and rewriting DNA with astonishing precision. In labs, it's cured blindness, erased inherited diseases, and rewritten the genetic code of plants and animals. But using it on humans crossed a line we hadn't even agreed on yet. The edits could pass down through generations, changing not just individuals, but the entire human story. The scientific community condemned the experiment, and Her Jiankui vanished from public life. But the door had been opened. Since then, research has exploded. Designer embryos, bio-enhancement, even attempts at age reversal. For the first time in history, evolution has competition. Us. We've learned how to write the code of life itself. Now we just have to decide what story we're going to tell with it. Every second, billions of particles pass through your body without leaving a trace. They don't collide, they don't react, they barely acknowledge that you exist. They're called neutrinos, tiny neutral particles born in nuclear reactions. The sun makes them by the trillion, but the ones scientists fear and revere most don't come from our star. They come from deep space, cosmic neutrinos. These particles travel across billions of light years, through galaxies, through planets, through you, without slowing down or scattering. They're almost impossible to detect. To find them, physicists built a detector under a kilometer of Antarctic ice, a frozen observatory called Ice Cube. Every so often, a single neutrino hits an atom inside the ice, producing a flash of blue light, a ghost leaving fingerprints on reality. Some of those neutrinos carry energies so extreme that no known process can explain them. Not supernovae, not black holes, not gamma ray bursts. Something out there is firing them across the universe like cosmic bullets. We don't know what or why. All we can say for certain is that right now, the universe is whispering through you, and you'll never even feel it. It sits there, still and silent, two green lobes waiting like open hands. But beneath that stillness, the Venus flytrap is counting. Touch one of its hairs once, and nothing happens. Touch it twice within 20 seconds, and the trap snaps shut like an ambush. That means the plant remembers. It processes time. It makes a decision. When scientists measured the mechanism, they found the trigger isn't chemical at all, it's electrical. Each touch sends a faint voltage through the leaves, a bioelectric signal like the firing of a neuron. Two pulses add up to enough charge to close the trap, a primitive logic circuit hiding inside a leaf. It doesn't have a brain, but it still senses, counts, and reacts. A plant thinking without thought. The same electrical whispers guide its digestion, regulate its heartbeat of growth and repair. The flytrap blurs the line between instinct and intelligence, proof that life doesn't need neurons to know. When you watch it close, you're seeing a fragment of awareness in a form we almost forgot to call alive. Every schoolbook says photosynthesis is simple. Sunlight hits a leaf and life turns light into energy. But look closer and the story gets stranger. In 2007, scientists fired ultrafast lasers into photosynthetic bacteria just to see how energy moved between their pigment molecules. What they found changed everything. Instead of hopping randomly like marbles, the energy seemed to move as a quantum wave, exploring every possible path at once before choosing the most efficient one. It was as if nature had quietly built a quantum computer billions of years before we ever dreamed of one. This phenomenon, called quantum coherence, lasts for only a few trillionths of a second. Yet in that instant, life touches the quantum world. 
It bridges the microscopic rules of physics with the macroscopic world of biology, something no machine on Earth has done so elegantly. Maybe that's the real secret of life, not just survival, but harmony with the deepest laws of the universe. Because while we're still trying to control quantum mechanics, life has been quietly using it all along. For all our equations, for all our certainty, the universe keeps a sense of humor. We search for order and find chaos dancing in disguise. We write the laws of physics and reality rewrites them when we're not looking. From time crystals that defy entropy to jellyfish that cheat death to microbes thriving in tar. Every one of these discoveries reminds us that existence is not finished being creative. We think of science as a ladder, each new finding a step closer to truth, but maybe it's more like a spiral, every revolution revealing the same mystery from a new angle. The deeper we look, the stranger it gets. And maybe that's the point, because the moment we stop being surprised by the universe is the moment we stop understanding it.